This question came in 2016 for one mark. The question is, the Ebers mole model of a BJT is valid only in active mode, only in active and saturation modes, only in active and cutoff modes, and option D is in active saturation and cutoff modes. So the Ebers mole model is given like this, where I'm taking here a PNP transistor in which we have a emitter junction here and collector junction here. So this is one PN junction and this is another PN junction. In Ebers mole model, these two junctions are modeled like two diodes. One is emitter diode and another one is collector diode. So if you see here, in forward active mode, this diode will be active and because of this diode forward bias, the current actually goes through base and gets collected in the collector. Hence, the collector current is dependent on the emitter diode current that is modeled here with alpha F times IED. These two will be active in forward active mode. And if you see the other way that in inverse active mode, this diode will be forward biased, the JC. And in that case, this diode will be inactive because it will be reverse biased. Hence, this will not be there. This diode and this current dependent current source will be present in inverse active mode. In saturation mode, in fact, both the diodes will be present because both are forward biased and both current dependent components will be there. And in cutoff mode, in fact, everything is off because the diodes are all reverse biased. In fact, this model completely represents in all the modes how a BJT operates. Hence, the answer is this Ebers mole model actually models the BJT in all modes, in fact. Here they've given the highest is active saturation and cutoff. Okay. In fact, it uh, models it in inverse active as well. 